You want to find two blocks underneath the glutes. Take a couple breaths in and out. In and out. We'll start our three-part breath, placing the right hand on the belly. Deep into the belly, feel the belly expand and deflate. In and out. Left hand will come onto the rib cage. Two parts now. Deep into the belly, the rib cage expands. In and out. This is the foundation of everything. Three part breath. The right hand will come up onto the chest. Three parts now. Deep into the belly, rib cage opens, chest lifts. Deflating the chest, rib cage collapses, belly deflates. In and out. In, out. You'll take the blocks from beneath you and place them at the top of your mat. Both hands will come underneath the shoulders. Spread your fingertips wide. Drop the belly. To inhale, look up. Exhale, arch the spine, cat spine. Drop the belly. Inhale, look up. Collarbones up, tailbone up. Exhale, chin to chest, arch. Drop the belly, inhale and look up. Exhale to empty. Drop the belly, inhale, look up. Exhale, empty. Good, release that. Kick your right foot behind you. Try not to lift the hip. You want the toes facing down. Press heavy into the right hand. Left hand is gonna reach forward. Inhale, exhale, Elbow into knee, squeeze, inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee, squeeze, core engagement, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee, squeeze this in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. You can grab underneath the right knee, squeeze it up towards the chest, squeeze, squeeze. And release. Left hand down, right toes forward. If you have to stop and grab them, press them up there, good. Right hand on top of right knee, left hand on top of right, straighten the arms, drive the right knee forward towards the front of your mat. Lift the chest if you can. If it's too much, pull back. Breathe, notice what's happening in the body. What's your position? How's your pace, your breathing? What's your mind doing? How's your perception? The three Ps, check in. Grab one of your blocks, place it outside your right hips, tall side or short side. Right hand presses down, left hand reaches up and over. You'll feel that opening in that left side. Bend in, don't let the chest fall. Keep lifting the chest open. And you breathe. Bend into your left elbow, send it outside your right knee. Left hand is gonna stay bladed. Right hand makes a fist. Press the fist into the hand, warrior grip. Don't let the chest collapse. You're peeling the chest open so you get that spinal twist and you breathe maybe you say to yourself i release what i don't need let everything stay your gaze is going to come down your foot place the hands on the blocks short side or tall side walk the blocks back straighten your right leg flex your toes towards your face again find the, the length that you need with the blocks so, Make sure you're extending the chest if you can. If not, stay lifted. It's always about a nice straight spine. You're not curving the spine to get lower. And just play with the depth a little bit. Make sure the toes are doing something towards the face. Flex, fold, inhale, exhale. Flatten the foot, move the blocks out of your way. One hand can come underneath the left hand, right hand to hip or to sky, your choice. And you're breathing. Make sure again the chest isn't collapsing. You're stacking the shoulders on top of one another and you're breathing. Right bicep can glue to the ear. You'll gaze towards your fingertips. If that's too much, just gaze down. Find your breath. Releases, let the left knee come down, place the hands down, kick the right foot back behind you, shake it off. Good, right knee and toes down. Extend the left foot behind you. Right hand is gonna reach in front of you. Exhale, elbow to knee, squeeze this in. 
Inhale to reach it out. Exhale, squeeze elbow to knee core. Inhale to reach. Exhale, elbow to knee and squeeze. And reach. Last one, maybe you scoop the knee towards the chest. And reach it out. Good, right hand down, left toes forward. You need to, however you need to get them there, that's fine. Left hand is gonna come on top of left knee, right hand on top of left. Drive the left knee forward a little bit, straighten the arms, lift the chest, getting deep into that right side, that right hip flexor. Play with the depth a little bit and breathe. Three part breath, always. Find one more. Left hand is gonna come onto your block, tall or short side. Right hand reaches all the way up and over. Make sure, again, you're not letting your chest collapse. You're keeping that chest nice and open. Feeling that all the way through that right side. Deep breath. Right elbow will start to bend. You'll send it outside your left knee. Right hand bladed, left hand fist. Press, warrior grip, spin the chest. Release what you don't need and you breathe. Everything stays. Your gaze will come down towards your foot. As you gaze towards your left foot, place the hands down onto your blocks. Walk the blocks back, tall or short side. Flex the toes towards your face. Straighten arms. Make sure again the, the spine isn't curving. It's a nice tall and straight spine. So. Figure out your position. What's your body doing? How's the pace of your breathing? Where's your mind at? Make sure everything's working together. Toes are towards your face. Starting to flatten the foot. Place one block underneath your right hand. Pick up your back knee, left hand to hip or to sky. Make sure you're stacking left shoulder on top of right. Nice open chest. Bicep will glue to the ears, gaze towards your fingertips. If that is too much, you can bring the gaze towards, uh, gaze down towards your hand or foot. Good, release that, place the block to the side. This time, step back into a high plank position. Take an inhale. Exhale, elbows graze the rib cage, low plank. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, low plank, elbows graze rib cage. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, low plank, you've got this. What's your mind doing? Where's your perception here? Pick up the hips, downward facing dog. Guide the knees down if you need to. Reach your fingertips forward, forehead and chest fall. Half downward facing dog. Breathing in and out. In and out. Walk the hands back. Elbows graze the rib cage. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep breathing. You've got this. Inhale, rock. You okay there, buddy? Hey, uh, is that a little too much for you? You want some help? I mean, it was... You got to know your limits. You it's very know short. Slow down and just just when you, you do didn't three part breathing. Man. You didn't you, breathe, did you? you passed right. Yeah, out. you did like one part breathing, the the inhaling and then mm -hmm. the holding, and you didn't exhale. That's yeah. a problem. Come on, let's Next go. Video. Here we go. I'm Eric, a former firefighter with 13 years of experience on the job. I now teach yoga for first responders, or YFFR, to my brothers and sisters in public safety. YFFR is here to provide you with accessible training for processing stress, building resilience, and enhancing performance. Several studies show that yoga and meditation are one of the best ways to protect yourself from stress-based health issues that can result from a job in public safety. Yoga techniques such as tactical breathing, strength and mobility, and recovery and mindfulness will also put your mind, body, and nervous system in the best place possible for a long, successful, and enjoyable career. The best way to feel these benefits is to practice consistently. The more often you practice, the better you'll feel. 
Our videos and live classes make yoga accessible, especially if your schedule is busy or unpredictable. If you are new to yoga or experienced with yoga, but are looking for an offering that is job specific and culturally informed. We have over 100 yoga and meditation videos for you on our online platform, videos of all lengths and challenge levels. We also have live classes with our trained instructors. I'd like to send you our foundations challenge as a free gift to get you started. Click the link in the first comment below this video. Enter your name and email, and I'll instantly send you three videos to start you off on your yoga training. If you liked the video that you just did, hit the thumbs up and tell me what you liked about it in the comments. Then subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos we release. Click the link below, and we'll be seeing you soon.